Why are you still not explosive in your pull-ups? Well, don't worry, bro. I'm gonna be showing you four different tips that can help you to improve your explosive pulling power. The first one is to work on the explosive pull-ups itself. So there is a technique behind this. You're gonna grip onto the bar at roughly about just wider than shoulder width apart using a pronated grip with your thumb wrapped under and around the bar. When initiating the pull, you wanna think about driving your elbows down to into the ground and also retracting your scapulas. This means pulling your shoulder blades back together. So I want you to visualize that you have an apple in between your shoulder blades. And then you're gonna crush that shit by driving the elbows down, squeezing your shoulder blades together so that the apples are crushed. Of course, you're gonna have to squeeze your core and squeeze your legs as well because when your body is rigid, it's compact, it's able to move swiftly upwards in a vertical pulling position. The rep range for this is between three to five reps. Now, I want your first two reps to be as clean and as explosive as you can possibly can. Of course, try to touch your upper chest to the bar. And if you don't have that yet, don't worry. I'm gonna show you another solution to get your body used to this new range of motion. And we're gonna be using banded chest to bar pull-ups. So we're gonna use a thin resistance band to start off with, or a band that is thick enough that will allow you to touch your chest to the bar for at least three reps. So with the demonstration I have here, so here I'm using a really thin band, it's about 7.5 kilograms. What I do is I strap that around the bar, just like so, and then stick one feet into the bar. My reason for this is that I just, my personal preference, and I like to squeeze my legs together when in this position. Same principle applies, drive your elbows down into the ground, squeezing your core. Remember that scapular retraction, and also when you pull down, keep your elbows tucked in close to your torso rather than flaring out. A lot of people come to me and they say, hey Pat, I have pain when I do pull-ups in my shoulders and that's because you're flaring your elbows out too much. That could be one of the reasons, so we want to avoid that. So try to recruit a little bit more of your lats and your biceps by driving the elbows down and keeping them in close to your torso. The second method of improving your explosive pull-ups is regressing to Australian pull-ups. Now, as easy as it may look, you, there are many ways you can progressively overload this exercise on its own and make it an advanced exercise. Now, before I go into this, the Australian pull-up can be modified by the height of the bar. The higher the bar, the steeper your angle of the body will be, which will make this more easier because more weight will be distributed to your legs, therefore making it easier for you to pull. So adjust the height of the bar accordingly. Me and myself, in this fuse in this parallel, it's quite low, which will force my back muscles to work much more. And again, when I try this, I try to touch my chest to the bar. So same principle applies, drive the elbows down into the ground, keeping my core and glutes tight and creating that scapular retraction. And notice how in my hips, I'm not piking them at all. There's always a constant tension in my core, in my glutes, so that way everything is engaged and this will really transfer well into the strict pull-up, explosive pull-ups and even the muscle-up. So take your time to perfect this and try to touch your chest to the bar. If you cannot yet touch your chest to the bar, at a specific height, simply just raise the height of the bar a little bit more just so that you can improve your range of motion that way. Once the Australian pull-ups becomes really easy, you want to place your feet on an elevated surface to make your body into a horizontal flat line that is parallel to the ground. What this will do is will make this exercise very, very much more harder. And again, try to touch your chest to the bar if you can. And the rep range we're gonna be working with is between five to 10 reps for three to four sets. Up next, we have got, of course, the weighted pull-ups. I leave this kind of almost last because I want you guys to focus on the easier ones first as this is probably more attainable for you guys. So when doing weighted pull-ups, we can start off with you know five to 10 pounds. And I like to work in a rep range of four by fours. This means doing four reps of weighted pull-ups for four sets. So start off with like as simple as five pounds or five kilos, and then gradually, progressively overload that every two weeks. And if you feel like, cool, um, five pounds or five kilos is easy, you can jump it up, okay? You want to choose a weight where you can do four reps 
at an intensity level of around eight out of 10. And with weighted pull-ups, you only need to do it once a week. The more you do it, of course, the more you get better. But when you're starting out, you don't wanna go too crazy with the weights. I want you to prioritize on mastering the fundamentals. So get strong at body weight stuff first before actually jumping the gun too fast and then you end up injuring yourself in the long run. The next one is tempo pull-ups. What I mean by this is by adjusting the speed at which you perform your pull-ups, it's gonna challenge your muscles even more. So what you could do is do what I call the one, two method. What I mean by this is you're gonna do a pull-up really fast to touch your chest to the bar, so that's, that will take less than a second. That's one. And as you come down, you're gonna negative down at a count of two and then you repeat. This is gonna be quite tough on your back muscles, your biceps. So expect yourself to do lower reps, so between five to eight reps. That's, that's pretty much it. When you go fast, you're gonna activate your fast twitch muscle fibers, which is gonna improve your explosive pulling power. And also when you come down slow, this is gonna increase the time under tension on your muscles, which will then overload it, allowing them to become much more stronger in both the explosiveness and also in control phase. To add on top of that, now that we're in tempo, you can even add in pulse reps. That means pausing at the top of the bar with your chin above the bar on each rep for about two seconds. So pull up, chin clears the bar, hold that for one, two, and then come down again. Experiment with it, have fun. There's so many variations and I just want you guys to find what one that makes it the most enjoyable for you and it will also give you the most gains. And finally, I'm gonna throw you in a bonus one. This, my secret tip, and this is probably one of the most underrated one, is doing the tuck front lever or any front lever progressions. My reasoning for this is that pull-ups, you're gonna be getting very strong in the dynamic motion of the exercise, okay? Because you go up, you go down, but the front lever, you're putting yourself in a horizontal position and your body is engaging in an isometric contraction, meaning that your muscles are actively being engaged without any movement. So it's not lengthening or shortening, but it's still being actively engaged. And this is also gonna work on your core strength. And then which would then translate into you being able to recruit your core when doing the explosive pull up and being able to touch your chest to the bar. So we're gonna start off with something as simple as the tuck front lever, holding it for 10 seconds for three sets. Now, you want to make sure that scapula retraction is always visible, it's always there. So as you race into it, you can bend your arms slightly to get yourself into that position. Then you want to lock your arms out and pull your shoulder blades back, just like crushing the apple. And this is what's gonna hold the front lever. And when you combine all of these exercises together and do them consistently for a period of two to three months, trust me, your explosive pull-ups will go through the roof and you'll be able to progress onto doing the muscle up much more easier and much more easy because the foundations are already there. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so that you can be notified for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.